guys, it's me Sam and I've got an incredibly croaky voice. Oh, sorry about that guys. Um, yeah, <clears throat> still not getting guinea bears. So. <coughs> hey there my darlings, it's me Sam and today I am going to be showing you in a mahusive primark hall, basically. A humongously massive primark hall. Um, I don't know if you could see the size of the bag in the, um, the thumbnail, but I'm just going to very, very quickly show you this. I say quickly, it's going to break my back as well to do this, but this, this is the bag that I drove back with me yesterday from Worcester. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, do you see it? Do, do you see it? Do you... Oh my God, it weighs a ton. Well, I'll tell you what, guys, I am so, so glad that they finally gave me one of those bags because I'll tell you what, do you, as you guys, as you might have gathered, when I go to Primark and do a good old shopping haul, I um, I like to buy a lot of stuff because I tend to only go once or twice a month. Um, I can't afford to do, like, go every week. So when I do go, I like to go and spoil myself and buy all the nice things that they've been stocking up in the shop all month. If I have to admit, our Worcester Primark, which is the one I mainly go to, I also go to the one in Birmingham as well, which I really should go to at some point before Christmas. And there is also enough one over in Redditch, but I don't tend to go to that one very often. It's more the Worcester store. It disappoints me because I see all the other YouTubers on it doing their shopping hauls and seeing all the lovely things that they buy and then I'm like oh that looks really nice I think I'll go and get one of those and I'm, they do they never seem to have it in stock in the Worcester store which really really frustrates me so Worcester you need to do better anyway as I was saying the reason why I'm really really glad that they finally gave me one of these bags is because now next time I go and well not just next time all the times when I go to Primark now and I know I'm going to be spending my, a massive amount of money I will take that bag with me so I can just reuse it over and over again because there's paper bags they're shitty when it comes to carrying loads of things back home with you it's just not not they're not good especially when it's raining and they get wet and they get soggy and then they fall apart so bonus on getting that bag now, I spent the grand total of £103 in Primark. I did, indeed. Just the proof points. I'm going to do this in a very crappy way. You can't see my bank card details. That should work. Yeah. Right. Can you see that? I hope you can see that. There you go. You should be able to see it. But, yeah, £103 I spent yesterday. I didn't mean to, but I never, I never mean to, but I ended up doing so. But there was a lot of things that I really, well, I wouldn't, one of my main things I wanted to buy was some jumpers, because obviously I've, I've put weight on, as you all know, and some of the jumpers I've got, they just, they just don't fit me anymore. They don't look good, they just don't. So I just want some nice, snuggly, warm jumpers for winter. So, I've definitely got some of them and some other goodies. And now I'm going to share them with you. Anyway, I'm ranting on about this bag and I'm saying how they gave it to me. Well, they didn't give it to me. I had to pay for it. It was a quid. It should have been £1.50 according to the tag on there. Whatever. Hey, well, it's a quid. And it's a quid. Well, fine. I mean, obviously, I've rented it now because I've, I've taken everything down a bit so I can show you it. And then I can put it back in there. But it's, it's a really useful bag to have. Plus, like, you've got two different types of handles on it. Like, you've got this one, so you can just carry it like that. Or, like in my case yesterday, because it was so freaking heavy, I had to literally shove it over my shoulder and drag it in with me. Because it was so, so heavy. But, as I said, it was definitely worth the pound because I'll use it again in the future for when I go back there. 
Okay, let's 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 show you what I bought. And as usual, what I'll do is go by everything listed on my receipt. And I do apologise if my voice keeps going croaky. I don't know why it keeps going croaky, but it does. Anyway, let's find the first thing. Okay, right. So it was this snood which I paid four quid for. Now originally these were being sold for six quid, but they seem to have knocked a couple of quid off them. And yeah, so this will be nice to like keep me that warm in the winter, obviously. I mean, I could, I, I could use it to cover my face. No, I won't. Well, I can wear it as a hat, but making me, I'll be wearing it as a, as a snood. I mean, I'll have to take this bit off it, obviously, at some point. But I just, I just wanted it basically. <laughs> No, it's a bottom or maybe it's about it. So, um, yeah, I just like the design of it. You know, it's kind of like a cable knit to it, and then got a nice fluffy inside. So, that'll do me all right in the winter. Now, the next thing that's on my list, I am actually going to show you last because, oh God, I, I died when I saw this and it had to come home for me. So, I'm now going to move on to the next item now I, I don't know what it uh, well i do know what it is i'm addicted to handbags bags full stop so whenever i go to fire rock i cannot but not come back out with a bag and i came across this one and i just instantly loved it and used it in my life now it's called i don't know a bag according to the receipt it says onions Hobo, I don't know, I don't care, it's a bag, and I like the funky self chain design on the front, and it's nice and deep, and obviously it's full of crap at the moment, that out, be gone, you don't need to be in my life, so, yeah, it's really, really deep, and what's in there, it feels all lovely inside, to be honest, so you've got like a pocket in, on the side of there where I can obviously put my keys or my phone or something. But it's just a nice leather, well, fake leather effect back that I just thought, I want that. So that cost me 12 quid. Right, the next thing I'm going to show you is an eyeshadow set that I came across. Now, I wasn't actually looking for any eyeshadows and I didn't buy this from anywhere near where they put the makeup in Primark. I was actually in the till waiting to be served and I saw that somebody had dumped this and I picked it up and I looked at it. And I was like, oh, that kind of like reminds me of, kind of reminds me of the Urban Decay Heat Eyeshadow Collection. It's similar kind of design, if you ask me. That's what it looks like. Just to kind of show it to you. And if I open it up and I show you inside, you look at the eyeshadows. Honestly, I, I I would say that it's very close to being a good dupe of the heat palette. There's uh, obviously names on all ten of the eyeshadows. We've got Panna Cotta, Bleach Blonde, Barely Berry, Skinny Dipping, Cappy Cram, Brown Bear, Wood Nymph, Summer Solstice. Can't read that one because I've got my glasses on. Underdressed and caught red handed and i don't know if you if you'd like me to do a review or to do like a swatch kind of thing for you um let me know so i can do that for you but i bought that and it was four quid now you know when you're waiting in the till and you see all those little baskets they're like running along the sides of where you're queuing and they're full of little goodies that you can go oh I'll just chuck that in my basket and I'll chuck that in my basket. Well, I came across one particular, well, they're not basket, they're like bowls really, aren't they? Well, anyway, this one particular bowl had perfumes in it. They were reduced from two quid to a pound, so I'm obviously trying to get rid of them for a reason. Now, this first one that I came across, it's called Slice, so it's obviously from the Halloween range. And I know, yeah, it hasn't got a lid on it. I don't know what happened to the lid. There wasn't a lid on it when I found it, but I was having a good old whiff of it. I was like, oh, that is like kind of like a scent that I 
definitely, definitely wear. It's, it's got like a really kind of fruity kind of smell to it. And as I said, it's definitely, definitely a scent I will wear. I mean, I mean these, I love their little bottles because they're just ideal to whack in your bag. So if you need to touch up at work, you can do it. You should just carry it out and go, bip, 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 bip. jobs are good. Then. And I also came across this one as well. It's called Good Vibes Only. I just like the, um, the marble effect on the back of the bottle as well. And once again, I was just like, oh, that's a really nice and pleasant scent. And once again, it was a pound. So you can't go picking wrong, really, can you? So... Oh, that's really, it reminds me of something, but I can't think what. Oh, that's lovely. I do like that indeed. Right, well, I was looking for some boots, as you do. Um, it's winter. You need boots. Boots are always good. And I wanted a nice pair of heel boots that are going to look not only good at work, in the office, with whatever it is I'm wearing, but also out of work as well. You know, sometimes one does like to look classy, even though I do look a bit like tramp today um but i came across these boots and they were originally 16 pounds and they were reduced to six quid and it was a heel to be perfectly honest that i fell in love with it just i don't know makes them look posh if you know what i mean and yeah nice suede effect to them and i i bought them in a size five even though i am a size four and i do that for a reason because my feet are quite fat, like the rest of me, and um, I just wanted to make sure that there was enough room for my feet to be comfy in and not be like us on a toe squished together. As as you get older, you get these nasty things. Well, not everybody gets them, but I did. I, I got bunions, so um, I, I like my feet to be comfy. And yeah, I I just I just had to have these. They were a lovely design. Now, another essential thing that you must always buy from Primark when you go shopping there is a pair of pyjamas. It has, it's a definite, it is a must. You have to do it, guys. And I'll tell you what, I mean, their pyjamas range in, you know, from £6 up to £12. Sometimes you can buy a little bit more. But the quality of their pyjamas is so, so good. And I know that I, I just know I will be going back there very, very soon to buy some more pyjamas because they've got these really nice, fluffy-looking ones. And they're also bringing out the Christmassy ones as well. So I have to get myself a pair of Christmas pyjamas. I don't know if you remember the ones I bought last year. They were like um, a red check and they got like a bit of a gold like shit going through them as well and um, they, they they seem to they've bought those back again this year and everyone seems to be buying that well i'm like well i'm not going to buy them again because i've already got them and yes i can still fit in them believe it or not i can actually get into those pajamas they're fine on the bottom but i don't fit me on the top so i tend to wear the top open and i've got like a little pajama Best top that I wear underneath, so my dignity and my boobies are covered basically. So I'm still getting uses out of that one, but I, I need to get some Christmas ones. But I came across this set of pyjamas that it's part of this, it's, it's a short sleeve PJ set, and I've got a very similar pair as it is to these. Um, the top's more of a darker blue, but as you can see, they were only six quid. and They've got little hearts on the pajama buttons. Hearts, guys, hearts. So they they had to come home with me. And yes, I got them in a size large because I like to be comfy when I'm in bed. Oh my god, this next item I cannot wait to show you. Now they do these in a variety of colours. And I was very, very tempted to do what I normally do and just go for something in black. But I thought no. No, you're not doing it. Now, this this, this is a it's jumper. And the colour of it is very similar to the jumper that I'm wearing today. And I didn't buy this jumper. My daughter gave me this. It's one that she bought herself from Primark last year. Well, she doesn't like wearing it. So she's like, yeah, mother, you have it. Because it will keep you warm with anything. Um, and yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of like distressed effect. So it's been ripped and torn and it's got holes in it. But it's meant to look like that, you know. Yeah, but she won't wear it anymore, so she's like giving it to me, so that's, 
that's why I decided to wear it today because I wanted it to be warm and I'm just wearing it with a pair of black skinnies and some black boots and you know chilling out got a vest top underneath but it's well just to hide that bloody huge stomach that I've got right there and I know I know most people that do these shopping hauls they try on the clothes and they show you what they look like on but I don't okay I just like to go out and buy the stuff and they show you what I've bought simple as that <laughs> you know if you want to go and watch people try things on go and watch them but that's not the way I look smart art not what I do so anyway this oh god look at this is the most fluffiest jumper I've seen in a friggin' long time and it's even called a fluffy phenol jumper and just look at that colour the colour just did it for me it's like a really nice lilac it's, in fact, it's a lot lighter than the one I've actually got on at the moment but is that not delightful? I think so now obviously I got it in a large and apparently according to this and I can read it a large is a 14 to 16 so that should fit me nicely and be comfy and warm at the same time which to me is the main objection especially because it's cold in the winter oh and it's fluffy too did i not mention it's fluffy so so fluffy now i do apologize for the fact that i have got my glasses on but i need them because otherwise i'm not going to be able to read this on the back of here now the next thing i'm going to show you um I, was it what's a bar can you Originally they were selling them for 50, no, £1.50 now they're selling them for 50p, obviously they're trying to get rid of them. And it's a, a makeup brush colour sweeper. It removes powder from makeup brushes, which I think is bloody useful because sometimes I am a complete and utter lazy git when it comes to cleaning my makeup brushes. I just don't ever tend to find the time to give them a good old clean. So, normally when it comes to me doing my makeup in the mornings, I kind of like brush the excess up on the back of my hand and there's been a few times when I've got to work and I've looked at my hand and I've gone shit 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 oh shit so when I see this I thought oh my god that's freaking brilliant I need to have that you're coming home with me so according to the back of it it says swipe brush over sponge for instant removal shadow colour from brush I'm just going to show you what it looks like I don't think it's got anything in it no it's just it's, it's some funky kind of material and you just obviously get your brush and you go like that and the makeup's been taken off it and i just thought that it's just so appropriate and ideal for me because i need it it stops me from going to work looking like i've been doing swatches in my hand when i haven't Right, I've got another jumper to show you, and this one cost me 10 quid as well. In case I forgot to mention earlier, that lovely lilac one I showed you, that was a tenner. Um, so, yeah, this 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 cable jumper. Oh, I'm going to look at the colour. I love the colour. It's so autumny. 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 I don't know how to pronounce it. It's, I, I don't know, it's just ideal for this time of the year, and, ugh. Once again, I got it in large, which is a 14 to 16, in case you didn't know from the last time I saw it. But I just thought, you know what? Nice pair of black jeans. This is going to look so good. And I love the cable effect design. I just love it. I just, I just do. And I just know this is going to make me, it's going to keep me warm, isn't it? Okay, I've got another jumper to show you, and this is a ribbed turtle neck kind of jumper. And originally they were selling these for 10 quid, but I managed to get it full of fiver because for some reason they knocked a fiver off these. Uh, I just wanted to go for it's like a beigey kind of shade, pinky beigey shade. I don't know what colour to describe it, but it's not normally a colour I would go for. Once again, I bought it in large, so. It should fit me and look nice and loose and comfy but i couldn't say no to this because it was a fiver i just couldn't and i just thought you know once again i can wear this with a nice pair of black jeggings and my pink nude and then black jacket probably my leather jacket it looked really good under that but yeah oh look at it lovely 
I bought myself some more pyjamas, I did. I can't just have the one pair of pyjamas, I had to get two. And once again, these were six quid. And this time it was the um, it was the animal print that did it for me. I can tell I'm getting old. I'm starting to find animal print attractive. I don't know what it is for me. I, I, when, I, when I see animal print, I just instantly think of Pat Butcher from EastEnders. I don't know why, I just I just do. And um, there's a nice little pick tie up thing on there and I like the colour of the top and I always go for short sleeved t shirts because I just I don't really like having long sleeves on me in bed. I don't know why, I just don't. Six quid, you can't say no. If there is one thing I can say about me is that I really do not need to buy any more nail polishes. I have so many nail polish I swear I must have at least over 50 nail polishes. at some point I might actually do a video showing you guys my nail varnish collection because there are loads and varieties of different colours from reds to yellows to greens to sparkly ones to metallic ones I've got that many it's unbelievable so why why did I buy this? I don't I do know because it was the colour. And it's part of the PS Scent or Cine range. It was a matte nail polish as well. And it's in the shade. Let me see you, because I couldn't see you. Oh, don't tell me it doesn't have oh it's on the top one. <laughs> I'm so special. I belong. Yeah, it's it's on the top guys. It says heartbreak. But I, I loved the colour of it. Look at it. It's just lovely. Once again, very appropriate colour for this time of the year, and it cost me two pounds. Two pounds. Now I was looking for the ones they normally do for about eighty pence, and I couldn't find them, so I just thought I'll stop it. This will do. I like that colour. That's pretty. Come on with me. And I do have a thing at the moment for matte nail varnish, so keep your eyes peeled for that. You may see it on my nails very, very soon. Now another essential thing that you must always buy from Primark when you visit is a candle however in this case Primark and Worcester you have seriously seriously let me down where the hell are your candles there was like none honestly god there were like none whatsoever and the ones I could find well um there weren't anything really to write home about let's just say that much so in the end I went for this one. Now this is probably one of the first Christmas things I have actually bought so far this year. Now I've made myself promise I was not going to buy any big Christmassy buys until at least the beginning of December. You know, as far as I'm concerned, we're what, just about halfway through November. No, just, just no. You know, I see people and they're putting up the Christmas trees and the lights are ready. I'm just like, really? Really? No. Just don't do it. So I'm, I'm quite surprised that I've done this. Now, I came across, I've, I, I bought a candle like this last year as a stocking filler for my daughter. So I'm more than likely going to get some more of these just to make her happy because I like to do little stocking fillers for her, you know, even though she is 22. Um, well, I've seen this one. It says Berry Christmas scented candle, burns up to 16 hours. And it's got a very cinnamon, 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 very kind of scent going on there. No, I probably won't even use this now until at least Christmas, but I just, you know, it was a pound and I, I, I was not leaving Primark unless I'd got the candle. That's, that's all I have to say. My colleagues at work tomorrow are going to really, really hate me when they see what I take into work with me tomorrow. It was only £1.50 and I just saw the purpleness and the fluffiness of this and I was just like, you need to be in my life. Just look at it. Um, yeah, I, I came across this holographic, fluffy, purple and oh my god you know, I haven't even tested it yet to see if it works oh let's check oh my god it does it works it works a treat but I just thought oh my god I'm crazy enough to take this into work with me and to irritate everybody with it 
and look at the power of 50 guys how can you say no to that it's just oh, bluffy um right um the next thing i'm going to show you i really didn't need to actually buy i have that many makeup brushes it's shocking and i know what makeup brushes i like to use i know what uh what the quality ones and I tend to stick with them. Uh, they, they range from real techniques to my Sigma brushes. Um, yeah. So <laughs> I don't know why I bought this, but it's a blending brush. Apart from the PS Pro range, expert face blending brush suitable for liquids and powder. So I presume it's, it's, it's one of those ones for your bronzer. But it was originally four quid. They knocked it down to two quid. And I was just like, Oh, stuff it, why not? Just why not? Okay, so we're now to the last but one product that I bought from Primark in Worcester. I don't know which one I'm more excited about showing you this or my finale product. It's not a product, it's a clothing item. I don't know why I'm calling it a product. I think I must be thinking I'm back at work. Well, anyway, oh God, guys, this is oh. Oh, I'm so excited to show you this. It's, once again, from the PS Love range. It is their Gluna Glow Highlighter Palette. The, pro the packaging itself persuaded me to buy this. Now, I paid five quid for this. Just look at that packaging. Look at it. Just glimmer. Fucking yes. It's the, um, oh, my God. Just look. I'm just going to show you and shut up. Look at these highlighters guys just look at them um you've got this amazing purple one here at the top called spectrum i guess it's a bit of a greeny one there called backlight you've got a gray one down here it's quite like a gray purple called chroma and then you've got this pinky one here called opaline and oh crap so thicker i have the fingers in this i didn't even notice that oh crap Ugh. Dirty fuckers. Oh no. I suppose they had to see. Oh. Maybe they wanted to see. Oh shit. Oh my god, guys. I don't know if you can see that. That's like spectrum. Oh my god. Oh, I'm going to have to do swatches in all of them just to give you an idea. Oh. Oh. I just, oh. Honestly, wet myself over these. I don't know if you've ever noticed, but I'm addicted to highlighters, guys. But anyway, that's that. We'll get a bit more in there. That's that one. Oh, oh my God. And the frustrating thing is, I'd already been into Superdrug while I was in Worcester and bought another highlighter. But what? I had to have these. I just had to have them. And, and I'm going, oh, my God. Can you see those on my fingers? The pink one doesn't seem to be showing up as much. But the rest of them? Oh my goodness. I cannot wait. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my God. Oh. I'm in heaven, guys. I really am. This. This. Just this. And if you would like to see me do a review on this, please let me know in the comments down below. And finally, guys, we have reached the last thing that I've saved specially to show you. Oh, my goodness. It cost me 25 quid, and it is, and I can't believe I bought it because it's pink. It's pink, guys, me in pink. But, yeah, it's pink, and it is this suede jet biker's jacket. Just for you, I'm just going to pop it on. Smashing things up in here. Okay. So you get more of an idea of what it actually looks on. Now, I've, I've gone looking for a new winter coat, and I just couldn't find one that did it for me. So when I came across this, I was just like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. This. This. Just this. I like the fact that I can get my hands in the pockets there. And, 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 and. I'm not only that. I can do this all. Most jackets I buy, I end up not being able to do them up because I meet boobs because they're so freaking big. But I'm not going to bother doing it up because I, I think we need to see the full effect here. That's a bit better, really. Now you can actually see and then 
Oh, more my flubbiness. But, um, oh, my goodness, guys, it's just, it's bloody delightful. I love it. I love it. I, I really do love it. I love the whole design of it. <sighs> I'm looking forward to wearing this. I really am. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is one of the reasons why I don't do the try-ons either, because I, I'm not very good at modelling. I'm not. Let's just, let's not lie about it. Do not deny it, guys. Please don't be nice to me. Say, oh, you're wonderful. No, I'm not. I'm shut. I'm shy at modelling, so that's why I don't bother. But this, 25 quid. <laughs> and I know that it will last for a good, good time as well. I mean, I've had my leather jacket since the beginning of the year that I bought from there. You can totally tell it's ever actually been worn. It's brilliant. But that, guys, is everything that I brought from Primark yesterday as part of my humongously massive shopping haul. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Now, as well as going into Primark, I also went into Super Duggers, as I've already mentioned, and I'm going to be doing a separate Super Drug haul video for you all to watch. I just wanted to do them separate from each other because I knew that this was going to be extremely long and I didn't want to drag it on any longer then. It needs to be, and to be perfectly honest, when it comes to Primark, Primark stuff should just be like all to itself. So, yeah. Um, if you enjoyed watching this video, please let me know by leaving your comments in the comments thing down. No, there. Eh? Yeah. And give it a thumbs up. Yes, please do. And um, as I said, if there's anything that I've shown you today that you would like me to do a review on, let me know. I am more than happy to do so. In fact, please ask me to do a review on those highlighters. Please. Please. I really want you to. Um, so, yeah. Uh, as I said, I'm, I'm going to be doing another video very shortly. But right now, guys, I am going to go and do one because I need to go and get our gammon in the oven to roast for our Sunday dinner. Oh, roast gammon, guys. You can't go wrong. So, um, yeah, that's it. I'm gone. I'm going to do one. I'm de I am. I'm definitely going. I am. But I'll be back soon. Thank you again. You take care of yourselves. And I'll see you soon. Until then.